Well. Mm -hmm. Here you get a little uh, finished touch up in here and make a video of it. Talk while I'm working. I think yesterday was the last day of summer, last warm day we're going to have in New England. Got up to like 70, what, 72? Let's talk about the weather. That's a good way to... <laughs> that's a good way to keep an audience riveted, hey? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I didn't know you were filming, so... Well, I just started. A, if you had not let me on, it could have probably been interesting. Who knows what I was going to talk about. <laughs> so we had a... Uh, it's in our news and the news lately there's been a bit of bullying going on in New England and a poor young man was assaulted by three other young men and they actually urinated on him oh. Ooh. <laughs> these these kids deserve to get their asses kicked <laughs> which is something that just won't happen today instead of having that instead of kicking these kids asses they uh, they had a uh, protest rally <clears throat> I'll teach him. He won't do that again. Got to see the poor kid who was a victim. He was dressed in a jacket that kind of looked like he killed a Muppet for it. Oh. And I'm thinking of this jacket. Yep, that jacket will soak up a lot of urine. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 um, and I, I didn't understand it because... This was like a pretty average looking kid. Are you, actually, I could say he was probably a pretty good looking kid. He wasn't small. He, he probably looked like he could handle himself. But yeah, three against one. Yeah, okay, these three a-holes should have gotten their butts kicked. And poor, poor kid's father is there at the rally to support his son. And I'm thinking, you know, back, in, back in the old days, they could make this into a father-son project. And the father could go, go out there with the kid and beat these kids' ass. But no! That can't happen today. You can never have an adult beat up a kid. And as long as they weren't making a habit of it, the cops would generally turn a blind eye to such citizen justice, as it were. And their lessons w would be learned. They, <laughs> they wouldn't do that again, and this kid probably wouldn't be bullied again. His dad will beat us up. <laughs> Also, it's kind of surprising. This dad looked nothing like this kid. Just a, just a side note. I don't know what happened, whether the, the bullies were prosecuted or not. I, at the very least, they should be criminally prosecuted, but they're children, so that won't happen. It, uh, ever since we have started this whole thing, of, uh, this anti-bullying crusade, we've... I don't think we've done the society any good. Turned us all into victims. Welcome <clears throat> to the bright and sunny side of Pedo Culture. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, let's chat about... Uh... <laughs> And, I, I, you know, we, we don't, obviously, they'll never give us all the information. I want to know, you know, why they did this to this kid. Okay. <laughs> Let's not discuss the why. There's, there's no reason. There's no valid reason to be upset. Well, uh, okay, all right. Okay, okay, but there is a reason to urinate on him. <laughs> well, no, that's what I think. <laughs> I think the, the, the urination part was no, what, no, no, no. Was okay. what set the story over the top. Oh, I don't know, somewhere in this area. I just briefly caught the rally. And, and you can see that the, the father was just beside himself. He wanted, he wanted to do the right thing, defend his son, go out there you know, with his son and <laughs> do, a, do a remake of, um, of, of, of Cobra Kai. No. <laughs> okay, that's a chair. There. Uh, oh, heaven, for, heaven forbid an adult should beat up a child. All right. 
I sort of remember as a, as a kid being afraid of, you know, um, other children's parents because, you know, oh, you know, they, no reason. I was, I was foolish. <laughs> they couldn't touch me. So how about that weather? <laughs> the weather outside looks pretty nice. Hmm. It's quiet today for a Saturday afternoon. Oh, start the dirt bikes. <laughs> That was, your, that was a key. You said it. <laughs> dirt bags and the dirt bikes. Yeah, we have we have these um, kids actually um, riding illegally riding dirt bikes through our neighborhood, and, and the cops aren't even bothering because what are they going to do? Chase down half a dozen kids on dirt bikes. You know these things don't have um, license plates. They don't have lights. They don't have tail lights. They don't, they're, they're, they're off road vehicles. And, I'm surprised. <laughs> God forbid. I'm surprised they haven't gotten hit or anything. Yeah, mm, they probably have. I know. But they're off-road vehicles, on-road, and the cops aren't even bothering to chase them. What are the cops going to do? <laughs> they're all going to scatter. They're going to cause more of a public um, nuisance. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel bad. Well, I feel bad for the cops. <laughs> okay, I've been in the city too long. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Uh, so, I think I've explained this before. The process here is I'll do the quick rough sketch, and then later, when I get a different mindset, I'll come back and just refine the lines that I will eventually ink. In the past, uh, I have gone just straight from the rough to inking, and it always comes out really rough. <laughs> At least I can figure out where this arm goes. I figure he's gently reaching for the screen with the pinky in there. black uh, and I'll probably should call that in just to be sure to find where everything is I am over here trying so hard not to make too many noises oh go ahead make all, make, probably make, making more noises than I would have oh for goodness sakes make all the noise you want I know but it's like I'm picking up a napkin ever so gently so I don't go <laughs> 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 Since we're not on the um, microphone, I'm not quite sure how much of what you say is actually being picked up anyway. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. We, 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 use a, we use a microphone when we do our normal recordings. This is just on the camera phone itself. So we're just using whatever microphone is on an Apple iPhone. And I like the new iPhones, but they're too good. <laughs> I don't need cinema quality. <laughs> Apparently, you can do actual motion pictures with the uh, with this with these phones. People have. Yeah. I say, I don't even edit these things. <laughs> Probably get away with a 16 millimeter film. All right, now paper. Don't mind me, I'll just be over here listening to my true crime stories. <laughs> yeah. Only half of them, well, maybe 75% of them are women who snapped and killed their husbands. Don't worry. But they all got caught. They all got caught. That's mm -hmm. the big lesson to come out of uh, true crime stuff on American yeah, I TV. Think I, I don't think I do well in prison. <laughs> well, uh, our little pony riding princess who's never, um, who's never filled a gas tank in a car in her life, I'm sure... You turned street very quickly and 
get a lot of cred, and, and do really well in prison. You'd make a bunch of friends. <laughs> Joke being, if my wife is in a room with Hitler, Stalin, and Mussolini, she walks out with three friends. Which I'm not sure he means as a compliment or insult or both. Or <laughs> okay. So this is uh, Felicia. Don't think I need to explain the current storyline. It's a Bob Ross moment. I can just sit here quietly and draw a happy cat, happy cat. What was that again? Happy cat, happy cat? Yeah, well, Bob Ross would do happy trees. Oh, and okay. A lot of people find this relaxing. I need the Bob Ross voice. Down low timber. Putting it to sleep. And completely change the orientation of the feet there. And a little bit of punch. All right, open the pillow. It's got a polka dot there, polka dot there, and a polka dot there. There, there, and there. All right. Oh, <clears throat> that hurt. Ouch. No muscle pull. I've got to work quickly because I think this one is going out in November, uh, in the first week in November at least, somewhere along those lines. And it takes a while for the colorist and bottle washer to uh, do her work. The uh, computer. He's like a typewriter that could at any time completely explode and take everything you've ever written on it with it. Now, Bo is in front of him here. <coughs> so we stopped, our, stopped drawing Dino. And wide eyes looking down. Maybe a little worry there in that eyebrow. There goes a moped. A little bit more street legal than the dirt bikes that we usually get. Table cuts off the shirt there. Now there's the table, table, and now we can finish Dino's legs and his truck tailors. Uh, all right, 
right now. Bow in the foreground. Bow shoes. Okay, good enough. All three characters established. Time to resharpen. So I don't know if I've, well, I think I've explained these jokes before. We're doing a uh, retelling of an older joke, but with Felicia. So Fido was, had, Fido was wearing glasses. Now I gotta have Felicia wear glasses. For the joke. The theory of humor we're working on here is um, looking at something from someone else's point of view is a source of humor. And we're sort of looking at the world, the difference between a dog's point of view and a cat's point of view. And everyone knows that cats are fundamentally evil. Which no one can deny. All right. We're almost done here. Ooh, going on into 17 minutes. That's enough for Felicia. I'm going to do Bo first because she's in the foreground. Still the big, wide, shocked eyes. Having read what Felicia has written. make the hands a little bit larger than they would actually be in real life. Hands do show a lot of expression. Gesundheit. What'd you say? Gesundheit. Oh. I almost forgot to say anything. But then I'm thinking, oh, people are going to be... <laughs> Gesundheit. People are going to be listening to this and saying, what a bastard he is. <laughs> Doesn't even say God bless you. I feel like there's got to be a third one now. Because there's only two. Listening. They come in threes, huh? I'll probably be done before the third one comes out. You're probably what? Be done with this before the third one comes probably. out. Uh, let's see, where's the paper going? Binder clip. There we go. Here we go. Need to be a third. Okay, I am going in the other room because I have to blow my nose. And I didn't tell them not to want that. Okay, say goodbye to the audience because we'll be done by the time you get back. Goodbye, the audience. <clears throat> she rolls off into the into the sunset. His legs just show underneath the table. It's quite a reach across the table here for Dino. Uh, I'll 
take this shoe going this way, but this one probably should go this way. All right, what'd that take? 20 minutes. How long does it take you to do these? Well, now I have photographic evidence.